Hello everyone, welcome to the NACE Rocket League playoff play-in matches. This is a very much winner-take-all um, scenario here between Arcadia University Esports and Park University. Um, so basically what happened is both of these teams ended up third in their groups and there are there are play-in matches uh, because of that. And Park University coming up, uh, Arcadia coming off with a big attack here. Had to get my bearings there for a second to figure out who was blue and who was uh, orange there for a second uh, i am joined by our my co-caster brian uh, what's happening no he yelled at you got him <laughs> get hype this is this is winning <laughs> in yes all right park kind of on the attack here arcadia playing a nice defense zanger gonna come up make sure that doesn't go in kind of wide right anyway so not a big concern here the clear out gonna come in. 
an attack. The, the pressure is mounting from Park University here. Park University kind of coming out with an, with, an, with an attack plan, and that whiff could be really detrimental. That's going to be a goal, and that's going to be a 1-0 early lead for Park University. And that whiff there towards the end kind of led led to the beginning of the end there for the Knights. There is no saving that. Yeah, we've seen all season uh, Arcadia a bit of a slow starting team, but uh, once they figure it out and sort of see what the other team wants to do, that's when they start to turn it on. All right, the Knights here are going to try and make a bounce back here. Definitely down, like you said, definitely have, we've seen them be kind of slow starters in series, sometimes dropping game one and then just winning uh, the rest of the series pretty dominantly. So very interesting here. That shot just a bit off center here for Swim. And Zanger sporting that neon green paint. Yeah, can't miss them. The, the bump's coming in here. Just a miss on the bump there. That would have been very detrimental for the Knights. The pressure staying on for Park University here. Space Beetle going to come back. Clear this out. Swim with a nice clear. Yeah, and things kind of slowing down here in the second minute of the game. It looks like we're starting to see two teams who are decently matched for each other here. I was excited. I mean, we had kind of had fear of the unknown coming into this game, right? Knew nothing about Park University. Didn't get to see how they fared in the regular season, so... I mean, essentially, this is a playoff match, right? Um, For sure. In the sense that these are not the teams that were matched up in your group. You don't have the experience of, you know, this team did X well against this team, so we're we, this is how we're going to fare. This is basically a playoff match. A team from another pool, it just happens to kind of be, you know, if, if the NCAA tournament or something like that, for basketball as an example, uh, play-in match. But speaking of uh, getting back to the game, Arcadia going down to a 2-0 deficit here by a nice pass play. Um, so far, able to able to put it in the back of the net. Yeah, the Buccaneers of Park University. Great logo, little skeleton pirate. Very spooky for the holiday season. <laughs> kind of fitting. Very fitting here. Knight's gonna play it slow here. Space Beer gonna try and make a play. Kind of a little miss there. Are they able to capitalize off it? Yeah, the Knights are not able to capitalize from that situation there. Just a bit of a miscommunication here. Space not getting a touch there, and then Swim not Swim and Zanger not really being ready for the follow-up. Tuna Fish Chris, he don't miss them. Tuna <laughs> Fish Chris, great name. Yeah, we've seen uh, Arcady just inches away, really, from, from knocking these balls away from their goal, getting those saves. Uh, surely they'll clean that up in game two. I mean, you look at game two right now, I mean, obviously things that you want to look into, just really polishing up making sure that you're warmed up for game two. But game one is definitely not over yet. I've definitely seen some um, deficits larger than this come back from. I mean, That's a goal fair. in the next 30 seconds, this game is still wide open, right? So we'll have to see. Knight's going to kind of playing it slow, keeping the ball in their corner here. Definitely on more of the defensive. I'd like to see, and this is a nice little pass here from Swim. Zanger not able to find the other end of it. Just basically intercepted there by Park University, but... A nice clear here. Space Beer going to take this up. Kind of trying to go on the offensive here. One man to beat for Park. Weren't able to beat him. Zanger coming down. Getting another touch there is Park University putting into the Arcadia side. Arcadia just kind of maintain control. That's going to go top, Ooh. off the top crossbar. Very nice play there from Park University, but an even better play by the Knights to clear it out, make sure to stop the damage here. And this is now, so now you're at the point, right, there's a minute left in game one, and you really just want to start trying to build momentum for game two, right? Because um, this is the time where things are, you'd have to really kind of pop off in the next minute or so to, to make a full comeback. And that's not what I meant by keeping momentum <laughs> Indeed. in game two for the Knights. Um, but if you're Park University, you're very happy to be able to score a goal there because this pass play coming right down so far is really kind of popping off in this game here. I think that's the, the hat trick for so far. Yeah, and a lot of the goals have been that just bounce off the wall centered ball and then so far has just been able to finish it. Um, Arcadia's got to keep an eye out for that. Yeah, I mean, we've seen this before from the Knights, right, where things just 
don't. Oh, very there nice play go. from Free Spear there. That's what the Knights need to see to kind of come back in this game one. This is actually pretty filthy. Oh. Yeah. Read his mind there in that regard. Uh, Space Spear able to uh, claw back in this series and maybe give the Knights some confidence in the rest of these games here, you know? I mean, the skill level is definitely there for the Knights. Um, just have to execute a little bit cleaner because Park University, a very skilled program and not going to allow um, not going to allow the easy ones in. They had to work for that one. Woo! Off the line. And nope. another goal here would be a great um, booster for the Knights here, but on the same side, Park University going to try and go for this goal here. <laughs> centered and very... That tell us this thing talk about it. Yeah. Yeah, Soap Bar really popping off in this game here. Very nice double touch off the crossbar here. Just really in a good position to finish yep. this home, and no one there for the Knights to stop. I mean, like I said, this has been the story of the Knights all season. Game one looks really bad. Uh, I mean, we saw them drop one. I forget what school that was. Uh, but then they won the next three, so... Yeah, I think it was in, in, in a different competition this week, maybe ECAC yeah, competition, where... Like um, the, the, and the next three weren't even that close, right? Yeah. It was yeah. game one, We like, the Knights fell, I think, three to one or something like that, and then yeah. games two, three, and four were just Knights all the way. But um, definitely interested to see how the Knights decide to, 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 to attack game two and see if they can kind of feel a little bit um, stronger coming into that series. I mean, I think the confidence is still there for the Knights. I think there were some plays that were made and it's kind of just looking into really making sure everyone's in the right position, right? Yep. I mean, it's that Rocket League is that fine balancing act of who's the third man back. When do you commit guys forward? Um, and how's it work out? Uh, so yeah, certainly game one tells the tale. We'll see what game two holds. Big demo. Tuna Fish yep. Chris going hard in the paint. Yep. Game two, Tuna Fish Chris coming out with a vengeance. <laughs> Said my teammate got all the goals in game one. I'm about to make a, make a name for myself. Zanger told us when he put that green paint on uh, a couple games ago, he just had an offensive explosion. So... Yeah, that, that green paint is is bright. I think he's got to play with sunglasses. Woo, nice save. Space space. Save there for space but the oh, follow up is there. No one else to, no one else to uh, to follow up there. Very nice save at first, but um, very relentless play from Park University to just follow up. Tuna Fish Chris coming out to play in game two. Zanger trying it off the bounce, no dice. Space Beer's last man back. And oof, trying that quick defense to offense transition. Mm. Yeah, Arcadia definitely wants to look to try and spend a little bit more time in Ooh. offense in this game just because I got kind of kind of an opportunity here is the follow up there. Oh. It is the save is Zanger. made. Another there, another save made. So see, that's that's something that the Knights weren't able to do after the initial saves were made. No one was back, right? Um, yep. And Park University kind of always having someone back to make the last stand, but is it enough here for the Knights? I mean, I, this is really what I like to see for the Knights here on offense. Yeah. Just trying to make plays, just trying to attack because, um, you know, it's like a, a prize fighter. Sometimes they can't fight on the back foot and maybe Park University just maybe isn't as good on the back foot. We don't have enough info on them to know if they are or aren't, but uh, a lot of the time, you play a bit differently when you're when you respect the attack of the opponent. Yeah, sometimes the best defense is a good offense. Keep that ball on the other side of the field, uh, and they don't have opportunities to score. So, mm -hmm. man, very close to equalizing the game down there. Multiple shots. Yep. Just inches off. Oh, Tuna Fish Chris again. I looked away for half a second. This is what happened. That's all your fault. Chris punished me for my <laughs> transgressions. So 2-0. Not out of reach yet. 
It is not. Definitely, definitely the comeback is possible for the Knights, but uh, if you're Park University, just looking to, to secure this game too because the oh, another oh. couple whiffs there, but Space Spear is back to make the plays. Gonna get the boost as well, forcing Park University to retreat here. Zanger to Space Spear off the wall. Space Spear to, you know, was looking for the pass there to Zanger. Park University was was uh, keen to it though. Yeah, it looked good. They just got that slight touch on it. Space Spear again, just everywhere all, right now. All over the place. Zanger able to get the boost there on the attack. Space Spear. Swim could make a play here. Ooh. Ball goes over Space Spear's head and or Swim's head, and by play I mean getting exploded, I suppose. Um, <laughs> The attacks are on here. Can the Knights clear it out? They can. Swim and Zanger on the defensive here. Space Spear with a push. Saved a blood bud. Maybe something here, Zanger. Is there anyone there on the follow-up there? Zanger kind of keeping it alive. Swim on the retreat. Zanger attacking again. Space Spear just ready for the re-attack here. Uh, as soon as Park tries to clear. Zanger with a nice play here. To there swim. we go. The Space Spear, very nice play. Zanger, really nice play at recognizing where Space Spear was here and just and just putting the ball to where Space Spear could finish it. So now That's we're beautiful. back in a one goal game. Beautiful teamwork, beautiful pass. Nice finish. Yeah. All it takes is one now. Minute 30 to go. Okay, with a nice kickoff here. Zanger off the wall controlling it. So swim is the pass there. It was almost kind of inter intercepted there by Park University. Definitely looking out for those passing plays. And now this is really a big opportunity for the Knights if they can make a comeback in game two. Clear and the demo here from Space Beer. Swim gonna be able to come up, yeah, make a go. push of his own, and that boost could go to Swim, and it's actually pretty massive that it does. Uh, the flex off uh, kind of stops the attack of Park University here. Very nice clear from Space Beer. That wall, that ball seemed to go further than I thought it was going to there. Um, 50 seconds left for the Knights to make a comeback. 50 seconds left for Park University to try and secure the win here. And again, the bounce off that wall and as Park just floods in. Woo. And a very, kind of a lucky bounce there for Arcadia. Yeah, seemed like we'll that it. could have been really dangerous. Last 30 seconds here. 30 seconds remain, winner of this 30 seconds. Goals Ends open. Game. Is that in? That is in for Arcadia. Woo. Space Beer just gonna, just gonna maintain control here. And you know, we didn't get excited right away because we just assumed someone was gonna be there. Yeah. But Space Beer finding the opening, playing it smart, carrying it in. Maybe Zanger got a couple bumps off there. It's kind of tough to tell. Yeah. But 2-2 two -two here in game two. Park committing too many guys forward there, trying to get that 3-1 lead, but. Yeah. Here's Space Beer again. Nice play here from Space Beer. Whoa, and the top. <laughs> Just off the crossbar there. Very close. Could have been the winner. Insane goal there. Zanger! Zanger there with a play! Shot. A goal. Can the Knights finish it? Five seconds left. They seem to be on the offensive here going into the last Swim. couple seconds. The oh. pass set, and overtime. we're going to go to overtime. I always feel like overtime, um, whoever has the momentum going in, tends to be a bit favored, but who knows? This is playoff rocket. Yeah. You never know. It's like playoff hockey. Anything's possible. <laughs> Nothing better than playoff hockey. And a nice pass play here oh. from Park University, setting it up. Kind of, ooh, and very nice opportunity there. Here we go. There. But the goal's open again. Here, goal's a bit open. Swim going to go for the pass play here. Would have been interested just to see a quick shot on goal there, but in the moment, got to do what you got to do. Zanger here. He lined it up. Whew. Little too much mustard on that center there. Spears in. Base Spear on the attack as well. This looks like a different Knights team in game two, regardless of the outcome here. Absolutely. Park University gonna, gonna make an attack off that, kind of teed it up for him, but that went a little bit further as well. Space Spear can get the center off. Zanger's Zanger. up. Oh. Zanger not up enough just yet. Space swim with the follow up. Zanger keeping it on the Park University side. Park University pushing it forward. And you see Park had, had two guys back sitting in front of goal there. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely playing more defensive here, respecting the offense of the Knights. 
Yeah, I mean, you, you have to now, right? In game one, the attack could just get poured on because there, were, there was no really need to respect the way the Knights were playing at that point. Yep. But now, the attack is deadly and they've proven it here. Swim coming up. Very nice. We swim here. Centers, but we'll see. Space Bear missed it. Zangers back in front of goal. Swim making the play he had to make there. Ooh. Gets demoed there. Arcadia, man down, ball in front of get. Ooh. Ball in front of net. Zanger just enough of a touch to keep it safe there. Space Bear gonna miss that off the wall Ooh. there. And Park University able to get that goal there. Just a couple of key misses that, that you know the ball just didn't get touched quite as much as it should have there. And again, it's that it's that little tap off that left side of goal, <laughs> just centered, and that's the Park University special. They put it in. What a game, though. Yeah, I mean, game two, either way, right? Like I said, a different Knights team in game two. Yep. And if, if that progress can continue, the, the reverse sweep is live, right? I'm not saying that, like, if I was a completely unbiased analyst, which clearly I am not, Right? It is impossible for me to be so. I am invested in the Arcadia program heavily. But if I were, I would be even still saying that a reverse sweep is possible, right? Because of the way we saw Arcadia improve in game two. Oh, if, yeah. you then, if you then assume that that same level of improvement happens in game three, into four, five, four and five, things could go very differently this series, right? This is going to be a lot of fun. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I agree. This could be very fun. If, if that Arcadia takes that overtime game, it's 1-1 right now, and it's anybody game. Long shot from Space Beer. Park had the man back. You're very well done by them, being in the spot there, expecting that shot. Um, swim. Swim, making some plays here, making a couple people miss. And that's the pressure that the Arcadia team needs. The passing plays are getting set up from the Knights. Eventually, they will go through. Very nice demo. demo there from Space Beer. Arcadia up a man here for a brief time period, but a very nice play by Park University to kind of... There was no man back there by, for Arcadia for a second. Swim doing the heavy lifting on defense. Yep, Space very nice time. Dave there. Yep. Zanger just hanging back at midfield, waiting to see what happens. Yeah, this is very tactical right now. It's both teams kind of now respect the attack of the others, right? Because yep. both teams kind of just not wanting to overcommit into anything just yet. <laughs> and the demo at the end of that? It's insane. Air really juggled into happened, demo. But okay. Tuna Fish Chris answering back. Swim just playing it chill, saying I don't need to get fancy to make this save. I'm just going to jump up and make it. Uh, going to get up to challenge this. Very nice challenge there for yeah. the Knights, keeping the ball on the Park University side. Space Beer going to challenge this. That's centered. Park University there to clear it out. Very nice clear as well. Going to go all the way to the Arcadia side. The demo. Very nice save there, having the man back. We saw that go in a lot in game one. There's space for the Very shot. Very nice shot here. <laughs> no boost here for Swim to follow this up. Gonna just kind of jump and make a play, but play made indeed. Two eighteen left. No goals here in game three. Game three <laughs> lining up to look a lot like game two in terms of uh, competition level. Oh, yeah. That's a nice job by Swim there. Mm -hmm. Just knock that up. Shut down that attack. Space so jumping up, making this play here. Two men up, oh. though. Could be a problem for Arcadia. That's not the touch Zanger wanted either, but Park University not there to punish. I saw that second car come up, and yeah, I got real yeah. nervous there. <laughs> Oof. Oh, very nice play from Bloodbud there. Yep, shoots it under Space Beer. 
seeing where the defense was and just putting the ball yep. where they could not get it. Again, off that same wall, it's happened every time with all of their goals. Arcadia trying to quick strike here. Oof. Zanger couldn't get there. That is what they need. Quick strike indeed. Definitely want to chip away at this lead here. Only a lead of one, but one is all, all it takes yep. to take a Rocket League game. So Center. Zanger's back. So swim. And so space bear. Yeah, gonna have to press here though, which is dangerous. Yeah, Arcadia gonna have to go all in the offensive here, right? Yep. Um, at this point, it's sort of like pulling your goalie. You're down 2-0 in the series. Just got to stay alive here. Your season is on the line at this point, so definitely a big There's attack. A demo! The it's going to bounce in? Pretty nice demo there from, from Space Beer. And Arcadia, not done yet. Yeah? That's brilliant. Just bounces in, 45 seconds, 1-1. One, one. Playoff life on the line for the Arcadia Knights. That did not come off the wall the way Park wanted it to. Definitely an opportunity for the Knights to capitalize there. If you're the Knights, you do not want to let overtime decide this game. Blood Bud, very nice carrying the ball here. Gonna end up wide left though. Trying to center it for Zanger here. Oof. Way back into Arcadia territory. Zanger making a nice play off the wall there, clearing it out. Last 10 seconds here for the Knights. Just trying to thwart off the pressure here from Park, but also trying to mount some of their own. Oh boy, coming off the wall here. Swim, going to try and make a last second play. I think Ooh. the ball's going to die here. We're going to go into overtime. Game three, we saw overtime in game two. Overtime in game three. Back to back oh, OTs. Man. I've never played any high-pressure Rocket League, <laughs> but it seems very stress-inducing. Oh! Oh, and there it is, Park University. Two overtime wins, not cracking under the pressure. The Knights playing a very valiant effort of a series there against a very strong team, but Park University going to be able to... Uh, to finish it off there and, and secure the win and move on in nice playoffs. Like I said, this was uh it's an interesting format to have a playoff like win in in. Yeah. Because it's basically just playoffs. But um I guess it's just not top sixteen, right? So it's very interesting, but um it's good for Arcadia to get experience and the nice season was a, a really fun one overall. It was definitely um fun to have um to have the Rocket League team competing yeah, this year, and, for sure. just that experience of, you know, two overtime games with, with your life on the line, I mean, it's got to be valuable down the stretch. Um, and team communication in those high pressure, pressure situations, you know, how they do. Uh, I think Ben told us and Zanger told us, you know, they're getting better at communicating. They're having fun. And, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if we want to bring... Uh, ben up for an interview? Space Beer up for an interview? I think that was on the table. I think maybe. I think they are gone. <laughs> okay. Did they peace out? At the chat. I think they're just. All I mean, right. it is it is nine thirty on a Sunday. Oh, right? that's true. That's um, fair. People do have uh, some some homework and stuff to get done for sure. Um, but on that note, uh, it was a pleasure. Or it's eight thirty, right? I'm like. Um, my, Daylight my savings. Brain. Yep. I know yep. my computer has not updated yet, but um, <laughs> it's been a pleasure commentating Rocket League. It's been pretty fun. And um, definitely excited to see this team get get back at it in, in next in next semester season and finish out the ECAC season this semester. So keep your eye out on some. We might be switching up the Rocket League nights, playing a bit of a different on a different night of the week. Definitely, you have not seen the rest of the the last of the Rocket League team for this semester yet. I do not believe so. There could be some ECAC matches that are that are coming up, as well as um, League of Legends that'll be on Saturdays. Overwatch uh, will be competing at some point in the week. Um, and uh, Hearthstone will be finishing out their season as well. So thank you all very much for coming out, and uh, it's been a pleasure. You guys have a good one.